Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to, well, Euro Truck Simulator 2 again for the third time today. Something I really enjoy playing at the minute, just being a bit sore and whatnot. I'm just enjoying myself, so. Uh, I had some sound issues with my last truck, so I went and built another one. We're still on the same profile, I need to sell a truck because I don't really have much money left now. So we're going to run this truck for a bit, and then we'll uh, we'll sell the other, we'll sell the spare one that we don't need anymore. It's just a single axle on the back, which I don't normally run, but hey, it's all about being different, isn't it? So we're in Milano at the moment, at the just outside the Scania dealership. So I could do with a decent job to get me. If I could work my way towards France, I would be happy about that. To be honest. Uh, that would get us towards France, would it? Where does that get us to? Ge Genevieve. Genevieve? I don't even know where that is, but I'm going to take that. Hey, James, Kent, how's it going? Server's very laggy, I told you it was, that's why I'm taking it down. I just haven't had time to take it down at the moment. Right, yeah, I love the stream with your dad. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, mate, I really did. Right, just tell me where to pick my job up. Uh, ride in a V8, please. Oh, I'm not in a V8 at the moment, I'm just in a V6. I don't, I'm not on a high enough level to have a V8 at the moment. I, uh, I'm only on level 13, so... JKD Gamer, how are you doing? Would you alright? Not the best sounding truck I've ever had, I must admit. But it sounds good. Hey Luke, how's it going mate? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, it'll be a quiet stream, I would imagine. Doesn't bother me. Does not bother me. Liking this truck, though, I must admit. I'm great Mark, how's you bud? I'm good with JKD mate, thank you for asking mate, I'm absolutely spot on buddy. Oh, I just got a fine, I hit a bus. Technically it wasn't my fault that. I haven't got, I haven't got use of a Volvo at the minute, sorry. Right, I need 
check on some as well just when I get up here. Oh Gary, I know. <laughs> Me dad's dead funny, like. Oh, I didn't hit him, man. He hit me. I don't know yet, I've not decided. Right, I just want to check on something while I'm here. Actually. I'm in a 164 uh, scan, yeah, I'm in. Right. Oh, I've got to. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I was going to say I'm going to sneeze, but I already did. <laughs> Jimmy, I like it, mate. I like it. Uh, right, I'm just just bear with us, lads. Sorry. Thomas in with a donation again, how are you doing buddy, you alright? Bloody hell, thank you, greatly appreciated. Uh, just bear with this, I'm just, I am doing something important, just, uh, I just don't know what yet. I was looking for... Trying to sort out my field of view. That's what I'm trying to sort out. Right, just bear with us. I forgot to do this before. Off stability control grid steering. Oh, I wish my eyes were better. Ah, there we go. That's not good, mate. Uh, right, hang on. I'm back again. Right, here we go. Uh, is your dad away to bed? Uh, no, he'll be away gaming. He'll game for another couple of hours yet, but... Uh, uh, add more lights to the scan yet. Uh, I mean, I could. I just I don't really have... 
I'm not really at a very high level at the moment on this profile, so I just, you know, I haven't unlocked everything yet. Hello, Mitch Brooks. How's it going, buddy? We just, uh, I just needed to try and uh, sort some out there in the config. I forgot to do. So, just lo loading back in now. Ah, cheers for that, Mark. Thanks, buddy. Uh... Okay, thanks, Mark. Uh, hello, Mark. Hello, chat. Ah, there we go. So. Right, pick me job. So we're going to take this one, I uh, don't know what trailers are available, to be honest. I need to add more trailer mods in. I love having the different trailers in. Great fun. Alright, we're in Tesco, will we? And we're going to Genevieve. Somewhere. It's part of the world somewhere, apparently. Oh, mate, my dad's a nightmare. All my friends hate me, I don't know what I should do. Uh, don't know, mate, my life's... I haven't got any friends, so... I'm probably the worst person to talk to about friends. Thank you for the donation again, buddy. Truck's looking smart. But we could do with some more lights if we get time to put some more on. I, I know you guys are my friends, I'm just saying in real life, like, day to day, I've not got any like physical friends that I talk to on the phone and all that, so I couldn't really advise someone on how to fix the friend problems, because I don't have any in that way. You can show force feedback, force feedback settings are completely standard mate. I know you guys are my friends, obviously. I wasn't uh, disputing that fact. I really wasn't. Uh, right. Oh no, oh no, I did, I did a bad thing. That's a good point Ellis, Th Thomas could make uh, online friends here, right? Oh, 
Hi Chris, how's it going? So I know what we're going towards. You. Oh, cheers, James. I'll check it out, buddy. Thanks, mate. I do really appreciate the uh, the PayPal donations because that's well, that's what's going to get me full screen for this rig. That's what I'm putting it towards now. new truck nice I like it I've got I've got my other scan new 146 as well which I want to get out is your 143 yes it is yeah oh, how did your stream go tonight Chris I didn't get a chance to get in sorry buddy I'm not, I'm not on uh, multiplayer buddy, I'm on single player. Uh, Andrew, you're more than welcome to send us them through Facebook buddy if you want. Uh, how do you install the mod for the Scania 143? You just install it like you do any mods, just YouTube it and find out. It's dead easy. Hey Minty mate, welcome back bud. Good crowd in, awesome buddy. So you had a good stream and that's good mate, that's really good. Where are you going to put your four screen mark? On the top mate, right in the centre. I can't use it in this room because uh, the ceilings are only three and a half foot so my TVs are actually hitting off the ceiling at the moment. So uh, I'm obviously moving in the next couple of weeks so uh, yeah that that's what my new screen's for. So I don't need to look here for chat, I can literally just glance up with my eyes, I don't even need to lift my head. I can just glance up. Is he letting us out? On program and problem probably will steal all night. 143 and they just took a break. All right, okay, got you, got you, got you. Uh, truck sounds mega. What size four screen you get? Well, what I was gonna do, I had a 40, right? But a 40 Samson, it's just too big for a four screen to be honest. I know it can never be too big and all that, all the jokes, but it, 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 honestly, it is just mounting it's going to be a problem. So, what I was going to do was I was going to buy a, 40, a, a 32 inch, was the plan. But there's no point, I've got a good 32 inch Samson on my desk as a monitor. It's, really, it's, a really, it's a really sharp looking monitor, it'll blend in really nicely. So I'm going to put that on here and then I'm going to buy two 24s from my desk out of the PayPal money. So that's the plan and eventually I'll add in a third 24 and then I can play three screens on there as well. Hey David mate, how's it going?
I will do, yeah. I'll, li I'll, I'll live stream building the whole games room, you see. Uh, I won't live stream, sorry. I'll be doing vlogs building the whole new games room. I'll get you a drunk on PS4 though. No. I'm looking around about the £80 a monitor mark, I don't want to go stupid expensive, you know. Uh, I, as I say, I actually can't afford to buy any monitors, so it'll just be whatever I can raise from PayPal. But I really do need a, a full screen, like, the, the reading the chat and that, and trying to look after the stream and that, and check the stream quality and all that, without a second. Obviously, this is my one screen, basically. I know it's three, but it's one, because I can't use it for anything else. I can't run my game in uh, full screen mode because obviously I need to have the chat over the top so... You have a curved monitor for your PC, awesome buddy. How are you running Pro Mods? I uh, had to play sort of my Voyager and CV for game so awesome. Yes, I'm running Pro Mods, yeah. Hey Matt, first time uh, for me today, this game crash. Uh, it is temporary which crash the game. Telemetry. Uh, well, I don't know it. What does pressing on the gearbox change? Yeah, this one changes the range from six because I'm in six high now, so that changes it to six low and back to six high. This one changes it from 6 high to 3 high. So that splits the box and that's the range. Uh, the, you know, high and low. I'm driving a 164 buddy. A Scania 164, there you go. BC specs are in the description. to run four screens you know but they were all different sizes and different oh they were terrible and my setup I, you know I'm really proud of my setup now not gonna lie I never thought I would ever have anything like this so I, I want to keep it nice do you know what I mean so moving the really nice monitor from the desk on here and then getting two of the same monitors from the desk would be better obviously when I'm playing desk games it would be handy to have an extra screen as well so I think it's the best I think it's the best thing to do. And it's you know using the donation money for a good cause again, which is which I love. You guys have built this, you know what I mean? It's unreal. I see you later David mate. Today, man. I'm 
really pleased I came on, enjoying the sound of my truck. Yeah. I'm going to keep this truck, I think. I was going to sell it because this was just a practice truck to get the sound right, but I'm quite liking it. I'm going to put a worker in it, I think. I've got a, I've got another 164 I want to go and run. It's got twin axles on. I want to run some... Uh, I want to run some machinery with it. Well, I'll drop you a donation over uh, towards help them. Yeah, anything that goes to PayPal will pay for the screens. I promise you that. I always use PayPal to buy stuff for the sound. Always. Truck sounds really nice, yeah. Are you used to a shifter now? Yeah, shift. Well, it's the pattern. Not the shifter. The shifter's dead easy, but it's the scan your shift pattern that's difficult. This is this is only a uh, this is only a uh, six engine. It's not a V8. It's only a V6. Could you use a hair shifter with a G920? Yep. Yeah. Yes, you could. It's a USB shifter. This one. Same computer case as you, Mark. Uh, again, fantastic stream. Cheese WC, buddy. Thank you, mate. I still need to check James' donation when I've uh, stopped. I've only got 120 miles to go, James, so I will check it, buddy. I'm not bothered where it goes, mate. I'm more than happy uh, to donate towards such a good stream. Ah, oh, I appreciate it. I really, really do. Focus on the road. I can't wait until I get the top screen sorted, man. As I say, I really want to get the PO box, but at the moment, I just don't have the money. I mean, PO box is £150. I just can't afford to spend that on that at the moment. And with a new room coming, I want to make sure the studio is I can move in and just and stream, do what I do, you know, just enjoy what I do. Instead of being cramped like I am now, I just I want to just get in a new room and just love it, you know what I mean? Uh, the shifter, the Thrustmaster shifter is 110 I think, and then this is 130. Good night Mark, yeah, see you later bud, take it easy. Surprised I haven't been sponsored yet, I have. The simulator and the monitor stand were both sponsored to me, the shifter was sponsored to me, the button box was sponsored to me. And then you guys paid for the rest through PayPal donations, so... Hey, you don't need to apologise for the amount, it, it, it doesn't matter. You know, even 50 pence to someone that has nothing is a lot of money. It might sound daft, but it is, and then if you're choosing to give that away, it is a lot. So, no, I appreciate all donations. Don't judge anyone on what they give. Well, Mark, uh, great to set up, bud. Uh, you make streams good and interesting. Thank you, buddy. Struggle to get past this guy, don't you? Bye, Mark, great stream, yeah. See you later, buddy. Uh, donate just through uh, PayPal, buddy. It's in the description. Yeah, Jerry, uh, Gary. Uh, I just, I had, I got really messed about with the company doing jumpers and that for me. Uh, so I just, I'm just, I'm, I'm really behind with the channel to be honest with the giveaway and that. I've got, I've got some other stuff here, but it's such a good giveaway. I want to get it right, but. Obviously I've gained subscribers so much it's, it's embarrassing that I still haven't done the 10,000 giveaway but there's nothing I can do, I'm doing my best, I didn't think I'd be moving twice and, you know I moved, I moved in the first place so I could live stream, that took off and then everything has just gone too fast for me and then with my health as well, yeah, it's got to come first so when I'm bad it, it, ah, it's just one of them things, I will get on it I promise. <laughs> You've got oversized load mod. I think I do, I am not 100 percent sure. Uh Crips is I passed my theory test today, Mark. I've got my driving test suit. Oh good well, well done mate. Fantastic. Quick question on the button box looking at getting one. I already spoke to Brian. Uh, just got to come up with 
a design, how best coming up with a design, just drawing something, be able to send it. Yeah, I would say so. Unless you've seen one that you want to kind of copy off a little bit. I kind of really do it as a 50k giveaway because all, all the stuff's got 10k written on it. So I'll do a 50k giveaway separately, but as I say, I don't want to advertise that at the moment when I haven't even done the 10k yet. I will do giveaways more often. I just need, I want merchandise to give away. I think that's a good way of judging if people are interested in it as well by giving it away. I used that instead of having a car, which I can obviously I can't drive, I used my money into this instead. I don't know why I take the game so seriously. Take care of everything. Uh, <laughs> no, some people are just like that, you know, doing good, mate. Got a job on ETS2 from the bottom of Italy to Glasgow. That's a good run, Kev. It's a good run, mate. Uh, hi, Mark. Uh, you try the NTP pack from Cast? I haven't, mate. It will be much cheaper, though, uh, in a few years, only because I got my licence. Yeah, it will be in a few years, but if you put your... What I was saying to people was, because I don't have to pay for car insurance and petrol and fixing cars, because I can't drive, I chose to put money into this.
don't really use the retarder that much mate, no. I'm moving into the new house in uh, hopefully in the middle of next month. Should get the keys on the 6th of February, so depending on how money goes. I don't want to move into the studio until I've got everything that I need, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Ah, cheers Andrew mate, I'll check that out. Loving me truck though. Really good sound to it, it's different than the V8 open pipe sound, obviously with it not being a V8, so... tonight yeah just just thought I would jump back on for a bit you know I was really enjoying it before and got myself a new truck but I wasn't happy with the sound and that so someone helped us with the sound so yeah just I think we're not being well in that you know my, my head's really messed up and my legs are sore my hands are sore I know I won't sleep well and you know the trucking just really relaxes us so I thought that's how we just come back on here for a bit you know job uh, that's you pick your parking you should do a multiplayer collab with Dave oh well yeah definitely I, I like watching Dave stuff's good uh, right so I said to James I would check right bear with this PUBG's great mate, I love PUBG. Alright. So, seeing as though we're done there, I was going to jump in the other truck, but I do need to sort out some drivers. So I could do with going and getting... I've got four drivers at the moment, but I could really do with another driver. Because I've got a few trucks now that are unmanned. James Kent, I'm from Ireland, so I know what exchange rate is. Uh, PUBG is the best. I'm looking forward to getting the PUBG, you know. And that's what I thought with the 224s, you know, although they're a lot smaller than my 32, and I love my 32. Uh, I just thought possibly running the 324s in the future might be better than 132, you know. Right, just going to go chuck a few new bits on this truck. Endless, how you doing buddy? Right, 
make sure we're in this truck at the moment. We'll go and chuck some lights and that on it. You'll have to PM me on Facebook, you know, Steve, buddy. Uh, maybe we can play. Uh, yeah, the only thing is, I don't have uh, any friends requests left. You know, any friend things left. The steam's full. I should add a bit of a, a dead zone into me, into me accelerator a bit. I think, to be honest. Some reason it always seems to be on a bit. Oh, this. Gaming, how are you doing, bud? Do you have ETS a multiplayer server? You can't have a server. Right, so you'll have to excuse me for five minutes while I see. I've only I'm only on level thirteen at the moment, so I can't go daft with a truck. Do you know what I mean? Because I, I just don't have the. Uh, Got about 40 ish grand I could blow on my truck, so. So I'm gonna put some workers in the other trucks, you see. Oh! Quite like that. I could run that. I think I would run the bottom half blue though, eh? Oh, blue with a white, right like that. Right, I'll run it like that for now. Right, so I'm just going to chuck on some bits that I never got around to chucking on before. So I can't change that. Uh, Full pin, I can change that. Right, put a light on there. I like having the lights on and that, you know. I'm gonna stick some strobes on here. bar on. Ah, yes I can put a light bar on. Excellent. I put the big uh, Bosch halogens on. The blue lenses on. Oh, they look pretty cool, don't they? Excellent. Right, so. Let's change my wheels. 
leave it like that. Uh, spare with these lads, I will be uh, raring to go in a minute, sorry. That was one of the reasons I wanted to come back on so I could get my new truck built. I will re-chat once I'm finished. Right, so that's that done. Right, rear end. So we'll put that stage rear end on. With uh, So we'll have LED square. Then we'll have brick square, brick square. Or tail and brake light, that's what I need. And then reverse square. Then reverse square. Tail. Tail. That one. And then LED, one of them. Excellent. Alright. Custom painted white chassis. Custom painted where you end. Excellent. We'll have that custom. Oh, I don't want the cover, I don't like the cover. Right, we'll have that little, uh, we'll have that square there. The only other thing I want to change is I wouldn't mind putting a bigger hood on there if I could. Ah, that's the one I like. Yeah, I'll be all that. Right. So, we'll put on the V8 badge and then I'm going to put on the painted windscreen panels there we go excellent she's coming together right some rooftop lights and we're all away because i couldn't put these on before because i don't know i did something wrong which is very very much like me but right i'm gonna go blue paint the lights on the top because lightage is important very very important Right, then we'll stick. Oh, have I got any air horns? Right, a couple of air horns on. I think she's good to roll. Air horns are in, mate. Uh, oh, I didn't put a big flap on the back. My bad. Hang on. Forgot about that. Oh yeah. Right, let's go. Right, get a job from here now. Whoa, that's a that's a big job. So we at the UK that job is there. Not for fancy going that far, like. We got out there. Hang on. That's some distance, that. I really fancy doing one of them uh, truck jobs, you know. Oh, 470 mile with a crane. Look at that. Jobs are good. Yeah, it is OBS, yeah. Sorry, I missed your chat. Sorry, guys. I was watching you, uh, I would like to become a mod, uh, likely for me, if I don't hear this one doing yet. I am most 
people, if they want to be a more detentive, put in the donation that they want to be a mod. I'm trying not to make everyone a mod now, but yeah, if you've been here a while and that, if you donate, it's hard for me to say no, to be honest, because you are trying to help the channel. By being a mod, you're trying to help the channel. It's only if the mods disrespect their privileges, but I've got plenty of good mods now that will report them anyway, and then I'll just remove the moderator rights anyway, so. Right, crane job, that's the one I'm taking. Oh no, hang on, where's my crane job gone? Ah, there she is. I know it won't pull it, but it will pull it. It's just the uh, the automatic game thing telling me that my truck's not powerful enough to pull the, pull the thing. But it is. I'll make it powerful enough. Hey, uh, Kaz, how's it going, mate? Yeah, right, bud. Did I not accept that job there? Yeah. <laughs> Mark Haynes, mate, I, I, basically that's what I, I am trying not to accept too many mods. Every donation we get, I'm not making everyone a mod, but I'm trying to be sensible about it. But again, if you see a mod, that he's not doing things correct. Just report him to me, and uh, and I'll get rid of him for you. Yeah, I know, Mark. It might probably bad me saying one thing and doing another, but I'm not trying to. It's just it's really hard for me when people are trying to help the channel, you know, and then they want to be a mod. I'm, I'm trying my best. Right, that's the setup we're going with today. Crane on. Little Scanny 16L. Uh, one was going to say 143 there, but it's a nice looking truck. Uh, I'm going to put my auxiliary lights on. So it looks nice. And I can put my fancy lights on. Excellent. Please, you're doing well, Kaz. Right. A red light? I didn't even see any traffic lights. I need the money man. Oh, we are going left. Jesus. I was looking straight ahead there. Right, Mark and others, uh, I'm going to show off now. Can you, oh, so it goes killer me. So strong painkillers and that's uh, Yeah, I get that feeling, mate, yeah. No bother, mate, you take it easy. Hi, John, mate, how's it going? Hope you're well, mate, hope you're well. See you later, Todd, mate. How's your day been? Ah, oh, day's been not bad, mate. Not bad at all. You know, very sore, you know, quite tired and that as well. But uh, I've enjoyed my streams, you know. Got a lot more streams done today than what I thought. But on the downside, it did involve me doing three Euro truck streams. But when I'm not well, Euro truck's so good for me. It's just relaxing. Use 
the rain and weather. Uh, yeah. You'll be able to see much of that all. Uh, where's my light? Is that? Hey Paul mate, how are you doing? Nice calm and quiet chat. It, it is mate, it's nice isn't it? Hey, how are you doing Paul, are you alright? I'm streaming late because I fancied it <laughs> to be honest. I was in a good mood and still quite sore and that so I thought I would just sit in. No, same seat belts, just I've got harness pads now. So the harnesses won't make me bleed when I have a seizure, which is good. I'm driving a Scania 164L mate, that's what I'm in. There you go, there she is. Pulling a crane, but she's only 400 horsepower. I like the traffic, yeah. I'm enjoying the new career, but yeah, we're on level 13, so it's going steady. Uh, I, I, my favourite car goes machinery, like I do. I really, really like machinery. Smoking and driving's against the law. Is, is it actually? I didn't know it was in the UK. I didn't realise it had been made illegal. My uncle have one of them great lorry. Yeah, awesome buddy. Back on another one of your streams. Yeah, off road you are indeed mate. Oh, a lot of trucks here. Ah well Scott, you learn something new every day. Oh Jesus Christ, what the hell did I hit? I don't even know what I hit. Nothing. How am I meant to get through? The truck's actually not hitting off anything. Ah well, my wife used to smoke and drive, I generally didn't know it was illegal, so... Just have to move over a bit. Bloody hell. Oh well, on the road again now, boys. Yeah, as I say, when you don't know, you don't know, do you? I remember when I used to smoke trying to light a fat while driving. <laughs> trying to roll one while driving, Zada. Now unfortunately, uh, unfortunately I'm one of them that actually still I disagree with a phone ban, to be honest. I would love phones to be banned, right? However, all it's done is made people text and drive, which I think is more dangerous. I think doing this and trying to drive is harder than doing this trying to drive at least you're looking at the windscreen so I think the phone bombs made it worse to be honest the amount of people you see texting and driving now and the amount of accidents you see from texting and driving it's got to be worse than being on the phone because on the phone you're looking out the bloody window 
I'm not saying one's better than the other, they both should be banned, I'm just saying I think I'd rather be on the phone than trying to text. She's different every time I drive into the truck. <laughs> it's 12 o'clock. Well, it's 12.30 here. this crane like she's doing all right she's doing better than I thought she would when did your wife's sister go oh she went back uh, oh, last week I think back again at the weekend but I'm away at the weekend anyway so I'm away sorting out some some of the stuff from our old house we left at my dad's uh, bit of storage that he's got so I'm away to sort that out at the weekend ready for the new house I'm doing great mate, yeah. Truck's pulling well. Yeah, my lights are working in the game, yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't get extra lights on before because I had a mod turned on. I had to turn it off. I remembered that I had an older mod that stopped stuff working. I'm struggling to get to 50 mile an hour with this crane on like she's flat out no I'm not playing online mate I'm uh, I'm just playing on single player that's why the truck sounds good because I'm playing with mods Andy, you're back. Hello, mate. How's it going? Funny situation. What do you mean? How much have we got? Or what? I did, I started again. St I stopped with my dad at 11. I 
I don't play FIFA, no, but I do play like PUBG, Train Sim, you know, Farm Sim, racing games, pretty much every racing game. No, mate, these are the, these are the good straps that I, I bought, the ones that were quite expensive. Uh, but I've got uh, harness pads for them, so it's quite a thick cushion, just to stop them cutting in and making me bleed when I have a seizure. It was getting quite... Oh, no. Yeah, it was getting quite bad. My shoulders are in a right mess. Yeah, uh, this one, uh, it says a company is between uh, like 1200, 1800, 2000s in the yellow, so it's not bad, but it's not, it's not good either. Range, but you know, with, with the heavy crane on the back, like she's uh, she's struggling a bit. Trade some world there, uh, be fun uh, to see sometime. Yeah, once I move house, mate, I can't use the office so at the moment. I'm not even gonna bother trying to get up my desk now. There's no point. I'm moving a couple of weeks, there's no point in trying to clean the office and move all the stuff all the time and you know, take all this gear from here downstairs. Just, there's no point. I'm gonna be in my new studio. In, in less than a month I would say, so what's the point in messing around with struggling trying to stream on a desk when it's just not worth it. Didn't catch up with uh, you on live stream. I know mate, Paul is busy buddy. No revving too high, I know. Well, it's, I'm, I'm not too bad actually. Between 1500 and 2 grams, alright. I have to I have to rev it above 1500 to make the thing go. The crane's just too heavy for it. What are you doing? 40, 50 mile an hour. I'm in top gear like that's it, that's all she's got. How many times have you built your car studio? Uh, no, I'm I'm not, I'm not on about the simulator, I'm on about a full new room. What's your... I mean, really, <laughs> my biggest goal with the channel is just to keep having fun, like, honestly. I don't really care how big it gets, you know. Like I've always said, it would be fantastic if I could make a living out of it. But I don't do it for that. I do it because I enjoy it. It's about the only thing I've ever enjoyed since I've had problems with my health so uh Viper says hi Mark how's it going? Uh, just bought a new computer today it says Lee awesome play what did you get? Uh for Samuel uh so you're in the simulation games I'm into all games you know I do like a lot of different games as well hey John I just said mate I should be moved in in the next month I would say Get the keys on the six, but I can't afford to move straight in. I'm gonna to have to wait a little bit. I need, still need to get quite a bit of furniture in that. Can you go fast? I can. I, I'm going as fast as possible. The truck's just not got enough power. I'm flat out. That's it. 24 mile an hour. That's as fast as I can go, Bill. If you are moving, I'm building your rig. Uh, like I've already said, I'm building a whole new room, so I'll be doing uh, a bit like vlogs, I'll be vlogging the new room build, so uh, yeah, I'll well, definitely be videoing, it won't be live because I won't be able to, but we'll see, I might I might vlog putting my desk in that in and, and repainting the room and getting it set up and then I might live stream from the desk me building the simulator, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Ryzen 7, 32 gig of DDR4 RAM 1070, Jesus, that's a lot. When am I drifting again? Two as I get my handbrake, mate. Once I get the handbrake, I'll be drifting. I mean, I wouldn't be able to drift a day anyway, mate. My hands are just too sore, to be honest. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's going to be difficult. The only problem is to do the vlogging. I don't have a camera. Uh, so, I don't have a phone because I keep working. I'm going to need to try and possibly, like, only vlog on a weekend when my wife's home. Because, I, 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 obviously, I break, I break stuff all the time because I drop it so much, you know. So, I don't really want to use her phone either. <laughs> so, I don't know how I'm going to vlog it yet, but I do plan on vlogging it. But we'll see. Thrustmaster's, well, I'm just pulling here. Thrustmaster's a better wheel, but it's a lot more money, you know. Over here, you can get a logic where well, you could, you could get a Logitech and a shifter from bloody uh, PC World and Curry's for 150 quid. You know, the Thrustmaster wheel pedals and shifters like 500, well, 400, 450. So it's a huge difference. Yes, you can turn off sleeping in single player. Right, there we go. Quick nap. job, I don't know. I've still got 280 miles to go. I was thinking of taking the daff out for a run, but 
when I finish this job I need to go and employ some people for the other trucks that I've got sitting empty no one in. I was going to sell the white the white one of these that I've got but I might just keep a hold of it I'm not desperate for money at the moment you know I think I'll just keep a hold of it to be honest you don't need a room heater I understand you love it clear I don't need a room heater either I mean with this computer, I mean it runs cool, don't get me wrong, but my god with everything I've got here it gets warm. Always watch you when you're on. Awesome buddy, thank you. Mark uh, will stream until the tiredness kicks in. <laughs> you know me. You know me, Mark mate, you know me. Can't hear me with all the background noise. What background noise is that? No, I see, no, there's no one using the room tonight. She's away back to Aberdeen. Can't hear any uh, background noise. Sorry about that, mate. Oh, he's talking about the truck, right? Okay. Yeah, the Scania's really loud. Ah, right, okay. I can turn it down if you want me to, like. Like. 
have an hundred K. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm running a 4.9 gigahertz on my 7700K. I tried to crank it to 5, but it just it didn't seem happy about it. My dad, he was on about an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, Michael, my dad was on about an hour ago, mate. I built it four days ago, I ah, got you, got you. Four point three on six cars, yeah. I didn't have any money for mine, but uh, as I say, luckily people donated, so I wouldn't have built it. When I got the big donation, I thought, oh god, I better get a 1080 Ti, but then my i5 6600 was going to bottleneck the 1080 Ti, and I needed another CPU for my desk anyway, so I thought, well, why do I want to take the 6600, put that in my desk, and then I will run the, get a 7700 and a 1080 instead of a 1080 Ti, and I can't fault it, like, I'm really, really happy with the build, it runs well, it does what I need it to do, so... in a few times, he's alright now, I got him hooked up with a, one of my old 980s, so seems to have sorted his problem, but he's just not in a position to get a new graphics card, you know. Hello Pipson, how are you doing buddy? Oh, probably next year, once it gets a bit longer. I just let it grow until I'm happy with it and then go and get it trimmed. I don't know why you would have a, a, a processor that good and just use a stop cooler, you know? Yeah, Marco, I will be doing giveaways in the future, yeah. So, Bottlenecking Mark Haynes is where, say, an item in your PC is holding another item back. So, on gaming, for instance, it's healthy if your GPU, which is your graphics card, is running at 100%. That's good. You, you're getting 100% usage out of it. That's good. Your CPU is running at, say, 30 or 40. Brilliant. Fantastic. If it's the other way around, where your CPU is running at 100%, flat out, GPU is only running at say 30, then your CPU is holding your GPU back. So it means you're never going to get full usage out of your graphics card because your CPU is bottlenecking it. It can happen with your RAM and like my desk computer only had 8 gig of RAM and when I was streaming it was bottlenecked. It, it wouldn't work. RAM was running at 100%. Uh, so I couldn't actually, all my other stuff wouldn't work properly. So yeah, it's as simple as that. You know what I meant. Everyone that I know calls a graphics card a GPU. I know it's the actual chip, but a lot of people that generally know a graphics card as a GPU. So. near 5 gigahertz on on all day every day and I never see it go over 50 like
I'm a computer tech, uh, get people demanding RAM upgrades in any of my three to improve performance. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you should do something cool with your... Alright, okay, yeah. Oh, you're not good, I'm not really that type of person, you know what I mean? I, don't get me wrong Mark, I'm no professional, you know what I mean, I just learn, you know, learn picking bits and bobs up, but it's pretty much what it means anyway, so, I would have, I would have never seen the full potential out of a 1080 Ti, uh, if I'd have kept the i5, so I would, have, I would have had the upgrade as well, but with that amount of money, I would never have had that again, so I decided to go down the 1080 route, and if I'm ever lucky, where I either get a 1080 Ti f from a company or something like that uh, then what I'll do is I'll put this 1080 in the desk and get rid of the 970 so let's see how it goes yeah I mean my dad was running his 5820 k with his 750 Ti in that's bottlenecked on the other way. It, <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was funny. I don't think this is going to pull this up this hill, you know. Oh, boys. We're struggling. We're actually going to run out of fuel as well. Get a better engine, this is it. I'm only on level 13 at the moment. So yeah, I've got a few PC parts left over, so I'm thinking of getting like a micro ATX case in a little board and I'll do a live build of a little PC for the... Uh, for the uh, for the living room, so I can maybe you know get a, a wireless Xbox controller and play games in there if I fancy it. But we'll see. Heavy trailer with 470. Why do this? Money, mate. Money. Need the money. It, it, it's it's doing it. It's all right. There is, but you've got to, t to turn off, it's called fatigue, but it's in your profile config file. You're better off looking how to turn fatigue off, or sleeping, on uh, on YouTube. Someone will do it, that's how I learn how to do it. There'll be a tutorial there for you. Move your seat and give the truck a little push. I should have done, mate, I should have done. Only on level 13, not level 13. I've got a 970, uh, 4 gig. That okay? Yeah, it seems alright. 
probably about where 970 should be, I would say. I, if I ever change my desk computer, see the 970 in it will go in the living room PC if I get around the building it, but we'll see. How does my wife feel about Cold Driver? Ah, oh, she's fine, she likes it. Are you from the UK? I think I recognise your accent. Well, I think you're on it yet. Yeah, North East of England I'm from. I'll tell you what I need, I need a petrol station, that's what I need. I'm only on high. I've got the anti alias and that at 16, but I'm only on high. I want to keep it around about the 80 to 100 frames, you know, just so I don't. Bad parking for me there. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I'm planning to buy a Penny and G4560 GTX 1050. Sounds alright. <laughs> ah. Yeah, Alex, are you on three screens or what's your resolution? Just out of curiosity. So you're on 1080p? Oh, one screen, that, that explains it. Yeah, running three is a whole different matter. <laughs> This is warehouse. I might take the DAF out in the next one. I think you guys are liking the DAF 105 sound. It sounds really good. Yeah, so what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this job off, so we've got 110 mile to drop this job off. And then uh, I'm going to get my DAF 105 out. I've got a few modifications to do to it for the next stream. And then I'm going to go and hire a couple of workers for the old trucks I'm not using. It's the wastegate noise. Yeah, 
Yes, I'm running pro mods, yeah. Because your computer is bad, uh, maybe better play on one screen. Why is your truck got that? I don't know what is your PC spec. I got a 35 inch here, so uh, 224 inch Samson's book car. Get a cab. Okay, big it is definitely not 42 is a great size oh definitely Chris that's it it's not about how much you spend it's about getting what you want it doesn't matter how much you spend new vape I got the vape when I went to see my granddad it was well it seemed like it was a good deal so I got it feedback. I feel it when it goes on the white line, it vibrates, so I know I'm not going straight. Yeah, 
that's it, Alexander. There, that's it. That's where I'm at, mate. I just absolutely love it, you know. Right, so it's a Scania 164L. It is with a couple of light mods on it as well. No, Crisis 3 and Crisis 2, it runs fine. Honestly, GDA 5 and that, things like that, it runs really well, but it's really surprising. I'm not saying I can max all games out, but as I say, high to ultra, it does run on, on a single 1080p panel, it runs fine, honestly. I know I've got a good, I've got a good system here that, you know, it runs really well, but as I say, comparing it, it it's on just a single screen, it still runs well. I would want to pretend I'm not in the room. I love my room. Uh, maybe you can force your wheel in game settings, dude. Uh, well, I can. I mean, it's just a standard settings. I've never changed. The only thing I turn off is the engine vibration. I don't think I'm going to do the work on the 105 because I'm getting tired. So I'm just going to drop this job, job off and then end it from there. So we've still got 50 miles to go. I can't get the map like that though, unfortunately. I would put the map on if I could get it, but I can't get it like that. Yes, I will be using the track race triple stand, yeah. Definitely. I mean, I've thought about wall mounting them, but there's no point. The track race triple stand is absolutely brilliant. It houses everything on it, it's great. So, yeah, definitely. I've been pretty much taking everything I've got. The only thing, as I say, I'm thinking of, well, I will be adding a fourth screen to this and then two single screens to my desk. Can you set the camera in game lower? I think it would look better. What, this camera though? What, in the actual game you mean? Or do you mean the webcam? I can if you want, but I'm looking straight out the windscreen here. It's a bumpy old road, this, isn't it? Yeah, you mean in game? I mean, can if you want, but not like that. It's a bit ridiculous. I'm just sitting too low. Yeah, I'm not, not liking that, mate. Definitely not. Oh, no, it's because when you come out, when you use anything else. Oh, no, that's not right now. I have 
no face screen, so I don't know how it looks. Uh, it looks ugly. Oh, this is about right, like. I think he meant the physical camera. No, he said he said the in-game camera. It's what it is is. I use a full screen for the same telemetry mark, I use as much frame drops in game crash, I don't know what happens when the board graphics do not work together with the 1060 very well. Uh, I don't know, I mean I just I connect all my screens to the graphics card so but the problem is when people come from one screen, they come to three screens and they want to they want to see the dash and all that you know they want to see all this and the wheel and everything but to get a proper trip a proper so you're in the cab you need to sit close to the dash it's just one of them things so you can see the wing mirror everything's to scale everything's right everything's spot on but people want to see that dash and everything you've got to accept that you just can't see that if you want if you want the better experience Uh, well, I will be going. I'll be once I move house. I'll be streaming more FPS games as well, like PUBG and things. But at the moment, it's mainly just like Dirt 4, Race Room, uh, Set of Course, uh, Farm Sim, uh, Euro Truck, American Truck. You know, it's mainly stuff like that at the moment. Stuff I can play on the simulator. That's what I'm saying. Because you're used to a single screen. You're still trying to get that whole look at the dash thing, but it sits you too far back. I've got a rev counter here. I don't know if you can see the light on the rev counter, but I've got a, a rev counter in that here, so I can see plenty. So I'm happy. I say it's nice to have the. My dad, my dad still sits really far back, so the left, the left wing, wing, wing mirror is actually on the centre screen, so he can see all the dash and everything. But I just find it way too far back. I sit so close. I need to be in the truck. Do you know what I mean? The only thing I want to change is once I move, I want to get the light uh, and, and even the webcam. I, I've got a, I've got quite a few adjustments I want to make, but I just don't have the room here. 
you know, it's so tight, this room. That's as far back as the webcam can go. Like, I can't even move it any further back if I wanted to. Uh, everything's so tight here. But there's just no point that I'm moving a month. I'm not going to try and better myself now. I'll have better internet as well, so I'm hoping to be able to stream in 1080p 60Hz. There's really good lighting as well, because I've got all my studio lights, but they, they just don't fit in this room. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Right. So, right. Uh, tolerable. I think I was a little bit late there, boys. Ah, long distance. That'll be. Right, so what I'm gonna do, is while we're here, is we're just gonna hop out of here. That'll be saved anyway. I'm going to go to Mod Manager because if I don't do this now, I'll forget. Uh, I'm looking for a certain mod. Ah. Uh, yeah, I would say for the moderators, the moderator rules are more important than the chat rules, to be honest. Right. So, I'm just going to get... I'm going to change over trucks for the next stream. So I'm going to be running the DAF 105, which doesn't have a driver in. I'm going to take it round and give it a bit of a fresh paint job. Yeah, I'm just I'm going to do a couple of bits on this DAF because uh, it's got no light on it or anything. So I'm just going to whip it round to the, uh, to the red spanner and uh, do a couple of little bits. Don't turn it on me. Oh. No sound on the truck. Wonder why, huh? Oh, I've turned off the desktop audio for some reason. There you go. Sorry about that, boys. Yeah, I must have caught it. I don't know why. Change the gear properly, boy. 
I haven't uh, heard of that, no. Alright, so I'm just going to change out my truck a little bit. And then that'll be me. Uh, right, so happy with that. Uh, it's got a tag lift for your end on it. The MX460, is it? That's fine. 12 speed shifter. That's fine. I don't want to spend too much on it, you know, but if I could change out the paint job a bit and that, I'd be happy. I should really look into getting some skins and that for the for the 105 and that, you know. Keep it like that. Right, so the main thing was I had any light for it, so we'll stick a light bar on. We should have some big uh, Bosch spotlights now. Big Bosch halogen ones, or I can use the 305 painted lights. We're well, the big Bosch halogens on it, why not? These things are huge, man. Nice. Right, so what was I running on here? Run two air horns on that. Happy at that. Yeah, everything else she's running, she's looking all right. Park this one up. Tell you where I need it. Oh, I don't think there is one here. Right, that's fine. I oh, know there is. I'm, just going, I'm going to go and park this truck at the recruitment agency. So I need to recruit some drivers for the trucks next. Sounds good.
truck that we're driving, the DAF 105, mate. That's the truck I'm driving, if you're curious. There you go. Right, a uh, lot of actions going on at the moment. Uh, overwhelming CPU, yeah, possibly there. Uh, no, headphones are Corsair, they are. Corsair, uh, uh, Void, I think they are. Excellent, right, I'm gonna shoot off guys, thanks again. Uh I'll yeah, she is a beauty, she sounds so good. Right, I'm gonna shoot off guys, I will be back tomorrow. Bear in mind I will be off at the weekend, I'm going down to my dad's to sort out some stuff for the new house. I've got some of my old stuff stored down there still, so yeah. Uh flick uh, the lights. <laughs> Anyway, big shout out to you all and uh, you know I really appreciate all the support. Didn't realise this was going to be a two hour stream, that's like six, no, eight, nine hours worth of streaming today. So anyway, I've thoroughly enjoyed it guys. Big shout out to you all, thanks to the moderators for keeping the chat clean. Thank you for keeping the chat clean as well guys, it means a lot. And uh, yeah, other than that I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks again guys and take it easy.